My thanks for joining me for this Padres postgame recap for May 24th, where the Padres dropped game one of this three-game set with the Diamondbacks by a score of 5-2. to two. Five runs, eight hits, no errors for Arizona. Two runs, eight hits, no errors for the Padres. And this was really a great ball game for the first six innings. It was Eric Stoltz going for the Padres against uh, Brandon McCarthy for the Arizona Diamondbacks, and both pitchers were on and doing what they do best. Now, different techniques, but both of them very effective. Eric Stoltz, for his part, working back and forth, as we've seen him do so often. He's not going to overpower anybody, but did a real nice job, as he does, of using that big slow curveball, change-up sliders to keep the Arizona Diamondbacks from really being able to get quality at bats and squaring anything up. On the other hand, you've got McCarthy for the, for the Diamondbacks, who has a different technique. He throws much harder than Eric Stoltz, Works in and out. Great cutter that he was using in on the left-handers, away from the righties. Then he'd come in with a hard two-seam fastball on the other side of the plate. So cutters to the glove side, two-seamers to the arm side. Mixed in some curveballs the third, you know, second, third time through the lineup. Uh, but for the most part, in and out versus Eric Stoltz, who was back and forth. And again, both guys were great through six innings. Now the Padres were able to push a run across against him early. Uh, that thanks to Carlos Quinton, who looked good tonight. Nice game by Carlos Quinton. First game back. Yeah, had a double, looked like he was running fine, was able to score on a base hit, uh, did a nice job in the outfield, I thought, so it was nice to see Carlos back in there uh, getting some hits and also playing a nice left field, especially with the knee problems that he's had. So that was that was the good news. So Padres have a one nothing lead. Eric Stoltz got in a little bit of trouble in the third. He worked out of it. Sixth inning, same thing. Got into some trouble, worked out of it. But you could tell he was starting to give a little bit of ground in the sixth inning. And one of the things that we've seen out of Eric is, is the trend of having trouble a third time through the lineup. Now, he... Opposing batters hitting about 373 against him coming into this ball game the third time that they face him. And that's exactly what was happening in the sixth inning. Third time through, they were starting to, to see the ball a little bit better, got himself into trouble. But Cody Ross got him out with two outs, got out of the jam. Very nice job. Seventh inning, he got himself into trouble again. And Buddy Black was trying to allow him to get through that trouble in the seventh inning, give his veteran the chance to walk away with the, the victory. Unfortunately, there just wasn't enough left in the tank, and they were the opposing hitters were seeing Stoltz for the third time, and they were able to get to him. A couple runs cross, all of a sudden the lead is lost at that point. They go to Dale Thayer, he gives up a base hit. Uh, the next thing you know, five runs end up crossing the plate after Anthony Bass comes in and gives up a base hit to uh, Paul Goldschmidt with two runners on. So that was it, five to one at that point. Padres try to make a comeback. Uh, somebody who hit the home run tonight for the Padres, I think it was Everth. Yeah, Everth Cabrera had a home run. Uh, turned on a 94-mile-an-hour uh, fastball uh, by Hernandez out of the Arizona Diamondbacks bullpen. Uh, but it was too little too late, and the Padres dropped this one with Heath Bell closing it out by the final score of 5-2. to two. So, tough night for the Pods, and uh, unfortunate to see a great effort by Eric Stoltz ultimately go by the wayside. Tomorrow's ball game is starting later than normal Arizona. Give me one second. Got to find out who we got here. Uh, it's going to be starting at 710. Normally the games here in Arizona on Saturday start at 5, but it's going to be 710 tomorrow. It will be Andrew Kashner, the hard-throwing right-hander, going up against Wade Miley, the lefty for uh, Arizona. And uh, Padres have their work cut out for them. They're fa facing a, a good starting staff here in Arizona, a team that's playing good fundamental baseball. And uh, unfortunately they came out short tonight. Better luck tomorrow. Ted Leitner and myself bring you the play-by-play. -play. Mighty 1090. Hope that you'll join us. I'm Bob Scanlon. Thanks for joining me for this Padres post-game recap, and uh, we'll be talking to you tomorrow night. Good night.